to other news now. A lot of Canadians have gone on to become big stars in the U.S. Ryan Reynolds, Michael J. Fox, and Jim Carrey, to name just a few. But some Canadian actors say it is now getting harder to find work south of the border because of their accent. They hear us say dollar, and they want to hear dollar. This weekend, several actors took part in a workshop to help them shed their Canadian accents. Many say in this tough economic climate, they will do whatever it takes. Andy Krieger is a voice and accent coach. He joins me tonight from Vancouver. Hi there. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Marcia. Is it Krieger or Krieger? Krieger. Krieger. I got it right. Yes. So, uh, it's tough out there, eh? That was a joke, eh? <laughs> Marcia, it is. Uh, when, I, when I grew up in San Francisco and I came to Vancouver when I was six, when I was in high school, sometimes I, w I would be on the microphone on the PA and kids would say, Andy, where are you from? I thought that was weird. How I'm not any different from anybody speaking in Vancouver. But in 1997, I was working for the local actors union and an American producer said he couldn't hire any Vancouver actors because they were speaking Canadian. He said, you speak American, you need to try to figure out what you're doing to teach these actors how to speak American. And what I did was I realized that when I spoke, I was putting my tongue and lips in one of nine or ten positions to push out air to make every word have a long vowel. I was talking more slowly. I heard you say the word time. You actually speak more American. I, 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 I'm sorry to tell you, than, than more than, than Canadian. Really? But Canadians, we, we talk so much faster, our words are clipped. That's what that producer heard. So I've learned, I've taught maybe over 2,000 uh, actors, uh, some with foreign accents, some with just Canadian accents. When they speak with long words, it's just incredible the difference. We speak in clumps as an American actor. Our words are long, we get a different kind of intonation. The word dollar, if I just say dollar, well, that, that's what the, American, what the American hears. But the American sound is, I put my tongue up at 45 degrees and I go dollar, doll, dollar. So that's kind of how it all started. All right, I just want to be clear on something. Did you say that Americans or Canadians speak fast? Who speaks faster? Uh, Canadians, because we're not using our mouth, we talk, as Canadians, we talk much faster. Really, we talk much faster. We don't say... Yes, we say, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, really, um, if you listen to an American actor, their words are longer, they're speaking with pauses, their words are spoken in clumps. All I can tell you, the class I did yesterday over the weekend in Calgary, I got a wonderful response because they c every actor can hear the difference, as, as strange as it is. We're just totally unaware that there is a difference. Well, let me ask you this, because why now? I mean, as we mentioned into the, the lead up to you, so many Canadian actors have made it big. So why is this a problem all of a sudden that we sound too Canadian? Marcia, I, work, I worked at the local actors union, UBCP, from 1993 to 2004. And I'll tell you, on any given day, 10% of the, 20% of the actors on any American movie shooting in Vancouver were Canadians. Uh, most of the stars were American. I'm, I, you listed five or six big stars, but uh, I hate to tell you, there are just scores of Canadian actors, union members of ACTRA and UBCP who are getting uh, second tier and third tier jobs. They're not stars in Vancouver. They don't work on in, in, in many numbers on movies that shoot in Canada. Uh, there, it's a tremendous problem. There are not a lot of actors getting work across Canada on American films. They have small parts. They have one or two lines. Uh, believe it or not, it really has been a problem. For uh, I, Again, I've been in this business since 1993, and I, I'm working a lot trying to help actors make this silly transition, which is so necessary. Uh, one last quick question for you. Whose English do you think sounds better to the untrained ear? American English, Canadian English, which do you prefer? Uh, I think the American sound is longer and more elegant. The difference is Obama. When you listen to Obama, we are totally enamored with the way this man speaks, with these long, elegant words. He speaks 94 words a minute. 
Prime Minister Harper speaks 164. Hmm. Uh, I'm aware of that statistic. That's a big difference. Very uh, if anybody wants to go to my website at andykrieger.com, I can tell them how to learn how to speak American or how to lose their foreign accent. If you're Chinese and want to speak with an American accent, you lose your foreign accent, All believe right. it or not. Andy happens Krieger. in about three hours. I'm out of time. Thanks so much for being with us. Do appreciate it. Thank you, Marcia. Good I night. appreciate you. Thank you.